So five or so years ago, this dent would not have been a good candidate for the paintless dent repair method, but I'm going to show you how we repair this dent without doing any painting or body work using some of today's tools and techniques. So what makes this dent repair so challenging? Well, one, it's behind a brace, as you can see there. And two, the metal is extremely, what we would call overstretched. And the reason it's overstretched is because during the impact, it was basically pushed past a certain threshold to the point of never being able to physically lay flat again. Uh, so we're gonna do our best with these rods that you're seeing here, kind of pushing the metal from the backside into position. And sometimes with these rods, we actually have to uh, bend them into certain positions. And what that does is allows us to kind of maintain a certain comfort level while we're, we're repairing these dents. Some of these repairs can go for hours and hours and um, you know, it's really important to uh, kind of get the right angles and be comfortable in certain positions for a really long time. So we try to work as efficiently as we can. You can see we've got the dent kind of in an upward position. It's almost like a protrusion. So now we're gonna go in behind the panel and grind the backside to bare metal so we can use what's called a power PDR box. And what that machine does is essentially allows us to add stability to the overstretched metal. Um, being that it was fatigued during the impact, this machine's gonna allow us to put some strength back into it. And what I'm doing here is basically um, putting a piece of sandpaper on the, on the backside of a tool, and this allows us to get in, in behind the really tight areas that my other um, pneumatic tools couldn't get to. And you can see the electricity kind of arcing into the panel from the backside there. And at the same time, it's adding stability, adding carbon to the panel. And we're gonna start knocking things down. You remember how that metal was kind of protruding. Uh, this is what we're doing to basically send it back into its natural position, just lay it back down. And light, fast taps with those hammer handles. Um, it just sends a certain vibration, not too heavy. And we're gonna add some corrosion protection to the backside of that bare metal that we had to grind down. And we'll go ahead and get the door panel back on and put everything back together. And one last look at the before shot of that really nasty impact to that door. Kind of an eyesore. We turn it from this into this. And you can probably imagine this customer was super happy. Um, didn't have to paint their Escalade. They really love their Escalade. It has a lot of miles on it, but they want to keep it as long as they can. And they didn't want to have to bring it to the body shop where they would respray a big portion of this vehicle to try to get it to match because this is a three-stage pearl paint and those paint jobs are really tough to match. And got to keep the original paint job on this vehicle very fulfilling repair for me and happy customer in the end. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at 386-216-5185. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you learned a little something new. I'll see you on the next one.